Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another game in the group stage of the Coronation Cup 2 between Gummibär Grün and Der Vasall. Um, so let's see if Der Vasall has also improved over the past year. Um, and it's actually a challenge to Gummibär like Fredinovich was. Now, of course, first map is Nomad. Recently they changed it so there, there's a treaty in the beginning of uh, the game. Uh, which is a little bit annoying because you can actually see these kind of rectangles around the enemy town center So this really gives away town center locations rather early. So I'm not a big fan of this uh, Also, you cannot do any will fighting and, and stuff like that. So it's it's a little bit stupid in my opinion But that's what the devs in their infinite wisdom have decided to do now here we see some uh, some docks being brought up very close to each other, so this is uh, Gummibear's dock and then Vazal's dock. Whereas if you look at the TC locations, Vazal's TC location here nicely on the wood line, he has some gold, he has a boar over here, um, and uh, for Gummibear he has some stone instead, also a boar. Uh, the only issue for him might be that his gold, his nearest gold, is, is over here, um, and that's kind of out there because it's behind the wood line. So, Overall, um, I'm not sure. Both both locations are pretty similar depending on what resources the players need in the early game. In terms of dock location, actually Vazal's dock is a little bit better because he's closer to the corner so there is a little bit uh, more fish over here. However, I don't think it makes a big difference. Let's talk about the, the civilization that those players have. Gummibar Green here has the Incas. Incas, when they, their TC is uh, finished, they actually get their Llama, which is free, and he can use that uh, for scouting or to get a little bit of um, reliable and consistent early food income, uh, which I think is, is actually a good idea at some point because you want to get this, this first fishing ship out, but then you also want to make sure that you have enough food uh, to create extra villages, so at some point you want to switch uh, to food uh, so that you ideally uh, always produce villagers and don't need to go for loom early. Now Vazal, on the other hand, he spotted Gummibear's position and so he did an early wall off over here. So that's a nice, nice idea by him to really close this off. However, what I would have liked is if he walls this off, then he should have just lamed this. Uh, and instead of walling off here, he could have walled off here and also taken the deer at some point. Um, but yeah, maybe he's a little bit scared. Gummibear is uh, the favorite in this mashup, um, so maybe he is not, uh, yeah, doesn't feel like he has a chance if he is too aggressive. Um, now, Vazal, he has one of the new civilizations in the poles. And poles uh, in, in Old Nomad, they would have been really good because their villagers regenerate HP. So in early vil fighting, basically, they would always win the vil fight. But nowadays, in the beginning, you cannot will fight anymore. But still, there might be some will fights coming up later, and then this is really good. Whereas the Incas, they have been nerfed quite heavily. Um, so their uh, blacksmith upgrades actually also improve the stats of their villagers, but only from the castle age onwards. Uh, another stupid decision by the developers, because then it's basically a completely pointless bonus. Just, just remove it and, and give them something else, because this is just... Uh, yeah, just stupid, honestly. Um, but yeah, we see some early laming here by Vazal, and this could actually be quite good. We've talked about the gold situation, we know that this is this is Gummibear's only gold, but he doesn't even know about that, so I think um, the laming might not even be too effective, because Gummibear just might not see this at all. Uh, instead, he might rely on one of the golds that is further away over here. Also, I think this is quite early, and oh, maybe he's not even going for laming, maybe he is just going for a big old wall. Let's go to his point of view. Yes, indeed! So he is walling this off entirely. And I think this is a little bit too ambitious in terms of wall off, because his opponent will always be able to just go around here. Now, in terms of villages, we see the experience of going Bear kicking in here. He has 16 population, has 5 fishing ships out already, Vazal only at 2. Uh, so he has idled his stock in town center quite a bit. Um, so I think there is an early advantage here. Also, uh, rather than, than taking the goat, I think that Vazal should just go for the boar, which is nicely under his town center. He could shoot it even with his town center two times. 
Um, although that's risky, so maybe maybe you should not go for that. Also, let's see if... Okay, Vazal does not see this boar over here. Um, but yeah, so this is the... This is the, the basic setup. In the Sif matchup, I would think that... Um, I, I think I favor the Incas if the player knows how to play them. So I'm not sure if Gumibear will a be able to do that. Uh, however, Gumibear, he has uh, used a Drush strategy in previous games. So it looks like he wants to do that again. He's already dropping the barracks, but what he what he really lacks is gold. Uh, he needs 10 gold to, to get the third militia out because uh, militia costs 20 gold um, and now he only has 50, but currently he's not taking gold. There is no gold nearby. Um, he really needs to, to run out very far to get access to that. So, and with only two militia, I don't really see uh, much happening at all. Uh, let's see if the players are thinking about the next age. So, Vasal, far away still. Kumi Bear could be thinking about it, but still smithing a lot of food. Now, finally, he drops a mill over here. Um, so, I think this barrack was just premature. Yes, he is creating some, some uh, militia. But, uh, I mean, look at the economy of Azal. I mean, what, what is he going to do with the militia? And it's the same as in one of the games um, against Fridnewich. However, maybe, maybe Gumibear has this, uh, this five-headed 10,000 IQ play because he knows that Vazal likes to play crazy strategies, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is dropping the barracks over here, uh, and he might be able... Uh, yeah, he might be able to find the gold at some point and then uh, deny the gold of Gummy Bear. Um, and indeed, he is going in that direction. That is quite amazing. What a game sense here from from Vazal. Um, but again, Vazal also he only has 15 15 gold. He should just drop uh, like get 10 gold from here and then uh, yeah, put the the villager somewhere else. So the poles, um, so they re regenerate HP, that's one thing we, we already discussed. And they also, instead of getting a mill, they get a fallwork. And the fallwork acts like a mill, but is a little bit bigger. And it also acts like a house at the same time, so it also gives you population. Um, and maybe he will see this regeneration bonus coming in at some point. Uh, granted, in Dark Age, the regeneration bonus is quite low. But I think he could just fight this. Honestly, he could fight this. Maybe, yeah, maybe he could fight this. Uh, I think he could fight this um, and, and easily win. Now, the Fulwark has another property. If you place farms around it, uh, when the farm is completed, you instantly get 10% uh, of the food um, added to your stockpile. So that's a, quite a big bonus. And oh, the Minisha are running in! Vazal does not react at all. Uh, and that's why you see uh, why this Militia Drush is not very good. I mean, look at this. He could, he could have just lost all the Militia there. Um, no questions asked, but now uh, we see some panic walls here from Vazal. This villager is not, not gonna make it, this is not gonna get built. Um, yeah, quite quite messy to be honest. Uh, and I don't know what happened to... Oh, she just got killed! Just like that! Oh, oh so she could not fight this. Okay. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe I was wrong, or maybe the micro was uh, a little bit off, and now look at this. Uh, there's a little bit of a panic, and what is this forework here in the middle of nowhere? Oh my god, Vazal, this is not gonna help you. Uh, but there's one thing going in the favor of Vazal, um, is that he's already up to the Feudal Age. Um, he should maybe use these these villagers to, to gather more food. Uh, and this is just this is just ballsy play. This is just this is just asking for trouble because there's nothing to protect these villagers over here. Um, but he is making use of the forward bonus, so he's getting some some food uh, immediately. But he needs to deal with these militia, uh, frankly, and also his own barracks. Yeah, he's re researching men at arms first, um, which is obviously a mistake. First, you should make three militia, and then while they're on the way to your target, they can be upgraded to men at arms. And honestly, I would not even go for, for militia at all at this point. Why not just go for a stable and, and, and uh, produce a couple of uh, scouts? They would be much faster. They could easily hit all of these villages over here. Um, and now you just need to garrison. Finally, finally. But only he's underreacting. I mean, there's only two arrows being shot there. Uh, yes, he dealt some nice damage to the militia, but overall... 
Um, he could have just done <clears throat> a lot more with the initial pass under the TC and this, I think these militia would have been just dealt with without any issues. Now let's see if Vassal makes use of his earlier uptime. No, he does not. So he does, first his fishing ships are idle and then secondly he does not produce a fire galley. Uh, which he should just do in any case, in any circumstance. And that just gives Gummy Bear some time to also reach the Fuel Age, which he has done just about now. Uh, and if you look at the resources, I think that uh, Gummy Bear is thinking about going for a fast castle over here. Whereas Vazal still, he lacks a lot of uh, resources and also, honestly, villages. What has he been doing? It's 35 to 28 villages. So clearly Gummy Bear just keeping the TC running way more efficiently. And But honestly, Vassal had a lot of uh, opportunities here. Why, <coughs> why build this barracks here and then not do anything with it? If you know that the gold villagers are there, which he clearly knew uh, because he had the scouting villager that he lost. So uh, I think there was some potential now on more quick walls, but that's just... That's just so much idle time just because of these men at arms that could have been prevented altogether. But now oh, this is an amazing move, or it would be if if it weren't open over here and over here. Oh god. Vazal <laughs> trying to be cute, trying to wall it in. And now we see the, the opposite. Gummy Bear actually has to fire Gilly out. He can just attack the dock. I mean, he doesn't need to attack the fishing ships because anyways, they're not working. Uh, although there's a villager over here that thinks about redocking, but probably Vazal is, yeah, he is occupied somewhere else, and that's in the front where we see a tower. But honestly, this tower does not do much. He should just delete the walls and just bash it down. The towers are so so weak, um, and yeah, he could just bash it down. No problems, no questions asked there. And uh, yeah, but uh, I think Vassal will be able to, to go to Castle Age soon. Let's look at Gummy Bear's point of view. He is not, because now he's, oh, he has queued uh, the Castle Age, but it's behind a villager. Uh, and he's also going for archers. Uh, makes sense because he is Inca, so he does not want to, uh, he cannot go for knights. So his favorite unit is out of the question. Um, so he will think about archers. I think, uh, yeah. Let, let's see if this if this is the right call. We have a lot of idols over here dropping market blacksmith for Vazal. These uh, men at arms. I mean, they're still alive. They did some damage, but overall, you can see that they're not too effective on Nomad in general to go for this early early drush. It's I think it's much better to get an earlier uptime to contest water earlier. Uh, of course, if your opponent is not on water like Vazal, then it really doesn't make much uh, of a difference. But uh, against higher rated players, uh, this might actually be very, very important. Now, Gumi Green is on the way to the Castle Age, but so is Vazal, and the timing differences is not so large, surprisingly. But uh, but what's worrying me for Vazal is that look at this economy underneath his town center, uh, which is basically non-existent. Now, let's see what uh, Vazal will go for. Of course, the Poles are a cavalry civilization, so he will want to go for some kind of uh, knights. Um, but Gummy Bear, if he if he collects uh, more stone, and he's already doing that, he could maybe drop a castle and then even go for Kamayuks, which is the unique unit of the Incas, uh, which are basically a, a better version of the Spearman um, that actually can also contest against infantry, so they, they're surprisingly strong. What's interesting is that Gummy Bear is basically getting stuck on this on this unfinished wall over here. He's kind of like, okay, I can't I can't even go there. Now finally he realizes, okay, this is completely open. Uh, there's <laughs> it's basically completely pointless, and that's that's what we talked about in the beginning. Why why even start this wall? It's it's not doing much. Uh, same goes for this barracks. Like, has he produced anything from the barracks? I did not see that. He could have denied all of this gold income, but alas, he did not do so. Now the Vassal economy is very spread out, and let's see if Gummy Bear realizes this. Maybe he can see the top tree here if he pays close attention. And he's diving underneath the TC. Uh, that's very, very ballsy, but yeah, uh, he's not really getting punished for that. A little bit maybe, losing, losing some HP, uh, but overall not too bad. But now both players are in the castle age, and that means that Vassal can go for knights and if he should not trickle them in, yes, exactly, he should wait for both knights to just overwhelm this force of Gummy Bear. Now, also at the full work, researching Heavy Plow, 
Um, and the, the whole gold issue that we talked about in the beginning was in the end non, a non-issue because there was no aggression from Brazil. Otherwise, this could have been ugly for Gummy Bear, having no access to gold could have been quite bad. I think now Vazal needs to really jump on this archers first, um, really ungarrison here. He maybe wants to wait for one more night, but I think I think it's a time to go um, because the situation is only gonna get worse. I mean, there's no villagers underneath the TC. Now, these villagers have been found. I think he needs to jump on this. Uh, instead of attacking with the villagers, why not attack with the knights? Um, and also like this, you will just lead your opponent to your secret sneaky base over here. Another villager going down, but finally it looks like these matter arms are getting cleaned up. Not quite, but another villager going down, I think. Um, of course, no ballistics. Oh, Gummy Bear losing a lot of archers for free. So that's nice to see, you always love to see that. And. Hi, you might be surprised by the number of knights that are coming out, and the knights do have bloodlines. They have no armor upgrade, but they do have bloodlines, um, and so they're quite scary. Uh, and the archers, yeah, they will just be cleaned up here. Uh, so is the men at arms that is uh, on stand ground, as is customary for Gummy Bear games, is to put the uh, the militia line on stand ground. They're losing another archer for free, but <laughs> due to this very sneaky gap over here between the village uh, uh, between the buildings and now I think Vazal has a real shot at doing some damage in Gummy Bear's economy all of these villages are exposed these villages are exposed um, he could even dive into um, yeah maybe clean up the tower dive into this one there are some villages here that could be hit um, I just hope that Vazal is not too scared of his opponent uh, and that he can just counter attack here and maybe use this uh, knight to attack this archer um, just to clean up any any stray reinforcements. It's always good to just uh, make sure that your opponent cannot stream in more reinforcements. But here we see the problem that uh, Vazal does not have any armor on his units, uh, so there's a lot of damage to be had on them by the crossbows. And there's still spearmen in there. Um, yeah, he need, Vazal really needs to run. Um, yeah, he needs to go for the gold. And yeah, he kind of missed the chance uh, to go to for that. Now there's a town center coming up, um, and th I don't think this will be denied. Maybe one or two villagers will get picked off. No, not even one villager is getting picked off. And this counter attack of Azal is basically thwarted. And and look at this. I mean, this tower is there, and he could have just battered it down, and then he could have still taken wood over here. I mean, luckily for him, he's super ballsy, so he just takes the wood over here, takes his food over here. Um, this is a very nice uh, looking farming setup and Gummy Bear doesn't notice but this is really really dangerous and look at the villager difference is Vazal even he's not producing any more villagers so one point of advice to Vazal if he hears this always make villagers no matter what press the hotkeys always make villagers that's really difference between uh, between basically your performance and Gummy Bear's performance look imagine if you were at Gummy Bear's villagers he would be unstoppable with the knights that you could produce with then. Uh, but alas, um, now some archery ranges are coming up sneakily on the side. I think he will he will go for crossbows himself as poles. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I thought he might go for skirms, but it makes sense. He has uh, a lot of gold in the bank, so instead of going for for that. But I don't get why he's now vacating his, his uh, initial TC. That does not make any sense. Now there's only a single villager there, so these units can just dive underneath the town center. Uh, and yeah, they have don't have to fear anything. And now the, the dreaded GG push is coming in. Villagers are being pulled. They're gonna drop a castle into the face of Azal. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, I would say, that's a little bit too defensive. Um, make it more aggressive. Just. Just put it right into the face of, of Vazal. Um, but yeah, it will suffice. Um, I'm not sure if it uh, if he will be able to to shoot down the town center. Uh, and again, we have all of these villagers not doing anything. I'm, I'm really questioning this. And also, he brought forth a goat. Uh, now, finally, remembers that he has villages there. Uh, having a lot of idols, is, uh, but Vazal is also having a lot of idols. Uh, they have some here, then we have a tower over here. We have oh, he placed a full work here in the berries, but now there's a tower here by Gummy Bear, so all of these villages are idle. 
Um, and yeah, I really don't see this for us. And look at this. There's no villages in here, no villages working. So these, these crossbowmen, they can just pass. Just pass them. Uh, now we have some crossbowmen here for Vasal. He has the fletching upgrade at least. Um, and oh, Gumibir needs to delete the, the siege workshop. I think that's a little bit... He's respecting his opponent too much. But I don't think that's a bad thing. It's better to respect your opponent and make sure that you actually win the game than just clown around and uh, then in the end lose everything. Um, now all of these villages will get uh, shot down. It remembers, yeah, reminds me uh, of a certain game between uh, Freddy and Gummy Bear, where a lot of villages went down near the shoreline. Uh, I hope you're gonna see that on uh, YouTube soon. Um, but yeah, I don't really see a way back here for Vasal. He's at 30 villages, Gummy Bear is at 56. Um, yeah, there's not much, not much in this game for Vasal anymore. He just, but it's typical Vasal fashion, so he will really drag this out as much as possible before he will resign. Um, <clears throat> his town center will get shot down, he does not have any stone at all. Uh, and to my knowledge, he does not have a secondary TC. So, yeah, I wonder if he probably sold the stone. Interesting. Um, but yeah, this is just GG. He cannot even afford uh, another town center. And yeah, we're just uh, waiting for this this game to be over again, I think. Uh, and let's see some juicy Mangano shots, which won't be coming in, maybe. No. Uh oh, nice dodge there by Vazal, but it's being repaired. And oh, that was a good shot. Um, so nicely done doing the repairs. Always good to do that. Um, and yeah, you cannot. If the Mangano is being repaired, you, you cannot fight it. Uh, there's basically no chance uh, other than go into the minimal minimum range of the mangonel but vasal will just lose everything and vasal calls the gg as expected <clears throat> good execution there by gummy bear um basically didn't have to worry any about anything in this game we see a constant and steady decline by vasal who had to be fair a few opportunities to do damage but i think that the um, the consistency is just not there yet for him. I mean, if he would, if he would focus a little bit more on uh, just constantly creating villages in the beginning instead of doing some weird wall-offs, um, then then I think he could could really pressure and challenge uh, players such as Gobi Bear. All right, this was game one. So see you in the next one.